Here we're going to take a look at Accounting 101 and what you should be doing and where to find things, how to navigate through D2L and find what you need. So when you first get on to the course, this is your course homepage and there will always be announcements here and those are announcements are how I primarily contact the class rather than sending out emails. So you'll want to make sure that you read the announcements. Uh, now this welcome one has a lot to it. A lot of times they're just a, two or three sentences. And when I make a new announcement, it'll be on top and it'll usually be a different color than whatever is the previous one. So when you get on here, you see something in different color than what you remember, then uh, you need especially to look at that announcement. Over to the right hand side are student meeting hours. These are hours that specifically are set aside for me to meet with students. And uh, however, can see or by appointment uh, and I will meet with you at times other than those uh, either for tutoring or for whatever you need. Here is my contact information, Dr. Canduli. I'm in the C building, uh, Office 110, and there's my office phone number. Also notice the email, dooleyk at octech.edu. So this is the one you're going to want to get on if you want to ask me something that you want an answer to relatively quickly. If you click on me inside of D2L, then you can still email to me, but I only look at those emails periodically. So if you want to just send me something or let me know something and you don't need me to respond, then that's fine. If you want a response, then this is the one that you need to do. I look at that email multiple times per day and then I try sometime over the weekend, I try to look at it at least once. Here is Zoom links, and uh, the Zoom link will have the date and the time. Okay, now this past Monday, because the, we had massive internet problems for two days this week, uh, we, I was not able to put that Zoom link there. But normally that's where the Zoom link will show up a couple of minutes before class and you just click on it and uh, you should be able to get in um, into the class. Down at the bottom is the tutors. Ms. Terry Bowen is our tutor. Uh, you can click on this link here to get to make an appointment for her. Um, I don't have her current hours yet, but as soon as I have them, they will be posted here. But you can get a hold of her even now um, and try to see if you can make an appointment. If you cannot get an appointment, she's not there, not able to meet with you at the time you need or whatever, then get a hold of me and it's very possible that I can do something. We can figure out something together uh, that where I can get with you. Okay, let's take a look at this, these announcements. Uh, this is Accounting 101, and accounting is the language of business. So if you went to another country and you didn't know their language, it's reasonably possible that you could manage to get along um, on a minimal basis, but you're not going to be super successful. Uh, you're not going to get a really good job or anything when you don't don't speak that language. 
accounting is the language of business. You are in this class because you either want to be an accountant or you want to be a manager, uh, usually, and that means you're going to have to understand that language of business. So there's a lot of terminology that you haven't heard before and ways of doing things. It's very important if you have a goal of being successful in the world of business. If you're thinking of owning your own business, it's even more important. You should think in that case about not only maybe getting your management two-year degree, but looking at the accounting certificate as well, because that will give you you're going to have employees, you're going to need to know at least some about payroll, uh, you should know some about income taxes and how they affect your business, and, as well as basic bookkeeping um, and use of either QuickBooks or Sage 50 or some other type of accounting software. And those are some of the things that you will learn in the accounting certificate. This is a seven week class, this particular class. You will need to aside, set aside six hours a week for attending class and going over class content. So we only meet an, uh, an hour and a half physically in the classroom on Monday evenings, 5.30 to 7, basically. Okay, so all the rest of that, the other four and a half hours, are for going over class content yourself. In other words, the videos, the PowerPoints, etc. Okay, you need to go through that. That's the class content. That's the lecture. Okay, so I will go over some in class on Monday night, but there's more that I will not get to that you need to do yourself. Now besides the six hours a week that you should be going over the class content, uh, then there's another six to nine hours a week for assignments and quizzes. So again, this is a seven week class. We're, we're taking 15 weeks of material and shoving it into seven weeks. So we're going to cover several chapters each week. So it's going to be one of those things where you're going to have to put some time in on a regular basis. If not every day, at least every other day, you're going to put a couple of hours or more in and plus on the weekend. Okay, um, now this is an in-person class. You are expected by OC Tech rules to come in person, but if occasionally you can't make it a certain week, you may attend on Zoom. So if there's an occasional time when uh, you're sick, you're out of town, your car broke down, whatever, um, then you, I will have, again, the Zoom link will be posted down in the corner and you can come on Zoom. See the box on the right, which is, again, right there, okay? Also, you have to submit significant work each week to be called present. This is a hybrid class, so um, half your attendance is based on submitting work. So if you show up physically in room R106 six on Monday nights and you do nothing else then you're going to be called absent and after one week of absence you're gone out of the class so you have to make sure that you show up so that's part of whether you're absent or um, present and the other part is making sure that significant work is submitted. Okay, be sure to get tutorial help as soon as possible. 
you're having trouble, do not wait, okay? The way that accounting works is very logical. If you are an extremely logical, methodical person, then um, you will probably be okay uh, understanding it. Uh, if not, then you will probably struggle. And it's not one of those things where, oh, you're going to struggle right at the beginning, but then you'll manage to pick it up. No. As soon as you are having trouble, do not wait. Because Part B uh, rests on you understanding Part A. And, and so if you don't understand Part A, you're going to be even worse in Part B. So. Um, Make sure that you get help as soon as you need it. Waiting until the end of the class and then saying, oh, can I have some extra credit? No, that's not going to work. Okay. Business students are required to have a working laptop and internet. But there are campus computers if yours crashes or whatever. We do have campus computers available, but you have to use time management because they're not open in the middle of the night or, or other times on the weekends that maybe you want to use them. Although there are computers available for use in, at your local uh, public library. If you want to do Zoom or something else that requires you to listen, then you'll need to bring your own headphones if you come to uh, the campus computers. Okay, now, this is very important here. You need to go through the class on the content tab, not through the calendar to-do list. So many students, they get on and there's some kind of to-do list, so what you need to do right now or some kind of calendar thing they get into, and not everything shows up on that calendar or to-do list. So, you need to make sure that you're going through this content tab to go through the class or you're going to end up missing some things and um, that can cause you a lot of problems. Okay, okay so let's take a look at the content tab. Okay. You have various modules that are listed here, and then within the module, at the top of each module, is any content. So here's the chart of accounts module. Here's the content, which is PowerPoints and videos. Here I have the PowerPoint that's silent. It doesn't have my voice. You can go through it as fast or as slow as you want. And then down here, I made two videos, which together is the same as this PowerPoint. But that has my voice explaining the stuff. Then here's more content, Chart of Accounts Part 2, and two videos that go with that PowerPoint. You can look at the PowerPoint or the videos, whichever uh, you prefer. Here's a YouTube video. Um, once you get through the, all of that is the content, okay? Now, then you have, in this case, two quizzes. Sometimes there's only one quiz, okay? And it will tell you when the quiz starts, when the quiz ends, okay? And it will also tell you in red if this quiz needs to be taken for you to be able to access the first exam. If you blow this quiz off because maybe it doesn't show up on your to-do list, okay, and you're not going through the content and you blow this off and then all of a sudden you can't do the first exam. So be on top of these things in the content tab that are in red. Okay, here is a Cengage assignment and you can click on there. It'll take you straight to the Cengage assignment. Um, and then you can do that. Um, although the grades, I will be putting the grades in manually later. Here is what I call a D2L assignment. 